Social media can be a powerful force for good or bad, with the bad often masquerading as good. Perhaps nowhere is this more true than in how social media promotes the exploitation of exotic animals under the guise of cute animal videos. Search cute monkey on YouTube and you will find dozens of videos with millions of views each. Although the exotic animal trade is supposed to be tightly regulated, illegal trade persists as a massive business. By some estimates, trafficking in wild animals is the third largest illegal business in the world, closely following the drug and weapons trades. Unfortunately, social media allows the public to engage with unregulated exotic animal content, which contributes to the increasing demand for these animals. In this study, the authors analyzed public attitudes toward exotic animals on YouTube, one of the most common places where the public interacts with exotic animal content. The researchers focused on primate and wild cat species due to their particular popularity. Comments from these videos were then analyzed using sentiment analyzer software programs, and one key finding was that the average sentiment scores varied across species but were all ultimately positive. Terms like cute, like, and love were among the most common in the comments, showing that the public generally engages favorably with exotic animal content. Average emoji sentiment was also positive, whether the interaction depicted in the video was positive, negative, or neutral. YouTube's regulatory system relies largely on users flagging content. However, this study shows that the public is very likely to mistake signs of distress or mistreatment of exotic animals for cute interactions. What's more, it's not clear from YouTube's policies whether there is any ban on content showing people handling exotic animals, despite prohibitions against it in many of the countries in which YouTube operates. YouTube could use software to detect key terms in video titles and descriptions, and artificial intelligence systems such as Wildbook, which can accurately detect if content is displaying exotic animals. Pop-ups could then make users aware that they are supporting the illegal exotic animal trade. Research shows that these types of campaigns work. In 2015, 700,000 people signed a pledge in response to the Tickling is Torture campaign, which helped to spread awareness about slow loris exploitation. Beyond spreading awareness, advocates can pressure platforms like YouTube to strengthen their policies on exotic animal content. Following their model for other illegal content, YouTube should send flagged exotic animal content for further review and remove any videos showing illicit handling situations.